see if I can do this with um, one hand here. So what I'm doing here is kind of talking about my, let's back up a little bit. So this is a, um, for a couple of years I've been using my DBAP, or DSTAR anyways, I've been using a DBAP, which is a DSTAR um, digital voice access point or something like that, uh, dongle, and then uh, Raspberry Pi. I would uh, use these two in conjunction together and I, I do mobile in the car with D-Star and so on and so forth. And for my power pack, I would use this Goal Zero, the big Goal Zero fan. I've got a couple solar panels that I can use to charge this, which are, this is the Goal Zero um, Guide 10 Plus. I can take the, the batteries out, use the batteries, recharge them, uh, recharge them via USB on a computer, a wall plug, I can uh, charge from a solar port. And um, actually right now the GoPro is being charged. Uh, it's actually recording the video right now, and it's um, GoPro is actually being charged from it while it's filming this, so should have waited, but hey. Anyways, the idea is that I would use those three together, and I'd wrap them up with a zip tie or whatever it might be, and I thought, you know what? It'd be really nice to bundle it all together. I had thought about that for a while, and I, I ran across a product called the DHAP. Was it um, digital ham access point or something like that, or hardened access point or something to that effect? And the idea was is that uh, this guy was creating a product where you take either he would supply the Raspberry Pi and the DVAP, and he put it into a really nice enclosure. You bring all the outputs of the of the Raspberry Pi to the outside of the, of the enclosure. I'll try and put a picture in here and see if I can slide in something in the post edit and uh, show you what that looks like. Anyways, it's a pretty neat product. I was pretty impressed with it, and I thought, well. I don't really need all that stuff. It also has an internal battery pack, and again, I use my Guide 10, so that really wasn't a good solution for me. It was also kind of pricey, but it was a really cool product, so I thought, you know what? I have a 3D printer, so why not try and do something similar and um, really just focus on what my needs are? And uh, so I fired up SolidWorks, and I kind of put this together. I don't have it entirely complete yet, but kind of gives you an idea of, of what I've gone with. I decided to go, you can see here's my DVAP. Um, I'm calling them sleds, but it's really nothing more than a drawer. And this is the the enclosure that I printed on a 3D printer. Um, just to back up a little bit. So on one side, it's got it's pretty solid. On the other side, I decided to make it a uh, shell out the enclosure, so it's actually dual wall or double wall con construction type thing. And as as the printer built up from the top, it, it uh, actually printed out this way the way I have it here. As it was printing or building up from the top. I started right around here, I started to have um, build up this tab so that the entire thing is kind of shelled out into a dual wall construction. So it's it's pretty solid. And um, what's kind of nice about it is if, if I were to drop it or something like that, it, it would kind of protect the stuff on the inside. Anyways, you can see where I have um, sections cut out for these drawers. But here's the idea is that I've got two drawers, one for the DVAP, or one slides, one for the DVAP, one for the Raspberry Pi, and then the goal zero and the idea was is I've got these caps that I can put on like I said I don't have it finished yet <clears throat> the plan is to take these caps and um, I gotta fasten them on somehow at first I was gonna screw them on that was my initial intent but I want to be able to access it a little bit more so and not do that so the idea is is um, let me unplug this for a second here hopefully the GoPro will still run for a little bit. Battery was completely dead. So what's kind of nice is I'll slide slide this in from the back. It comes out through the front, kind of sticks out a little bit. And I'll plug this back in real quick. Hold on. There we go. Back to charging up the GoPro. So there you go. So anyways, I'd have this sticking out the front, and of course I'd have that cap on. And the other idea is that here's the Raspberry Pi. That then would slide in. Amazing at how well it fit together. Uh, modeled this up with SolidWorks and um, turned out really, really nice. You can see it just will slide out the other side if I wanted to. And then the idea here is I got the last one is the EVAP. I do have to run the wires. I don't have the wiring. Scratch that, just drop my iPhone. So there we go. So you can kind of see 
I modeled this up in SolidWorks so I was able to kind of place it, but I've got the DVAP in there, I've got the Raspberry Pi, and then I've got my Gold Zero. And the idea is now is I can put these caps on. So I do have to, so the power for the, I don't know what I'm going to call this thing, just the enclosure for now. So the, the power for the, for the Guide 10 comes out the front. And of course I have access to charge it. So when I'm in the car, I can charge it with a USB in the car. I can charge it with a solar panel on the dashboard. And of course I can turn it on and off. What I do have to do is um, just put a hole in here real quick and then be able to take, create a little um, jumper cable that will go from the output here back into it. What's nice about that DHAP product is it brought all the external components to the outside. So this is in no way in comparison to that product that's out on the market. That's a pretty nice product. This was just something I modeled up that meets my needs. I thought it was a pretty, pretty neat idea. And I think it's going to work out really well. I just got to finish up. I just, uh, I guess the things that I have to do here is uh, figure out how I want to fasten the caps. Um, I'm thinking magnets. I've thought of all kinds of different ideas. On the back side, I had thought that I made the caps the same instead of making it a solid cap on the back. So one, one thing I want to do is do a 3D print and and do a cap for this, do a 3D cap. So the idea is that when I put this on, I can just um, take that cap off and maybe store the power cord or some USB cable in there as well, because I do have plenty of room in the back. There's plenty of room in there. So how's that USB cable there? So again, I do have to run the, the power cables and the data cables for the stuff yet. Um, relatively minor, but once I have that and I have the caps back on, it'll fasten up pretty well, I think. And it'll turn out to be a pretty cool, pretty cool little project. Again, it's ham radio and and um, 3D printing. Another use for it.